Hi, my name is Christy Valentine and I'm doing the module over assistive technology. Um, I think assistive technology is huge in the classroom environment. Um, we have so many children who have special needs or disabilities that we want to make them feel like they're included. Um, IDEA has a whole principle about inclusion and making each student feel as though they are included in a general environmental setting. So that means even when a student requires a little bit of assistance or you know a different type of means to get a, get the education, we want to give them as many resources and um, opportunity as, oppor opportunities as possible in order for them to feel included in a general education setting. This is where assistive technologies come into play and I think that they're so, so important. I currently work as a paraeducator at an elementary school and I can personally say that assistive technologies have a role in my everyday life because I use them with my students constantly. Um, all of our students are given an iPad and I think that that is one very important um, assistive technology that any student can have, not even students with disabilities, but a lot of students um, learn at different, you know, levels. A lot of students may be accelerated, some students may be delayed, some students may learn by being more hands-on on an iPad, some students may learn by listening and looking. There's a whole range of learning abilities and what an iPad can do is it kind of tailors each person's instruction into a way that's best fit for them and I think that is why assistive technologies is so important and we want to provide it with for our students, especially those with disabilities who need a little bit of extra assistance in order for them to feel included in the general education setting. It's all about that inclusion principle. We want to include as many students as possible for as long as as it's um, as it can as they can be in a classroom and be learning. Um, so I also think the the most interesting um, what did you, what did I find most interesting or most applicable for my teaching area? Like I said, I think the iPad is something that is extremely useful for every student, especially those with disabilities, because there's so many different things that you can do through the iPad that um, can lead to differentiated instruction. So, for example, one of our students, we have increased um, the, the zoom on all the words, so we've made the words a lot bigger so that she can see them because she has a little bit of problems with, you know, vision. So we've made all of her words on her screen a lot bigger so she can see and then we put her instruction all on her iPad so she can read it herself and it's big enough that she can see it. So that's just one example. But there's plenty of other examples that are kind of given within this module that, um, you know, there's different sites you can go on that have um, resources available and kind of give you an idea of how teachers can come up with lessons for these students through an assistive technology. Um, there is, um, through the their Simplicity, it has so many tools and worksheets and exercise sheets and it kind of gives all those resources that we're talking about and they're online so even students who are using iPads can access that themselves um, kind of just have a way to not be totally um, dependent on an adult or you know we want to we want to influence that independence in each student and I think assistive technologies really bring about an independence in each and every student because it gives them an easier way to access instruction and um, it produces more productivity with these students because it makes it easier for them to learn. They don't get as frustrated. Um, it enhances their knowledge and their um, academic achievement because again it it gives them a way to learn 
that they might have not ever had before. There was a technology that could assist them in this way. Um, so there's six different um, applications of assistive technologies, and those are existence, communication, positioning, mobil mobility, physical education, and environmental interaction. So it's asking us to kind of choose three of them that we think are, you know, the most interesting or that might be useful in our everyday um, work. I think one of the very most important is just the existence of the assistive technologies working with existence. So this is like the very first step in our assistive technologies that we want to worry about. We want to worry about personal care of each student. So they even talked about in the article, this could be as simple as a spoon that is, you know, unique to a person's disability. So this could be like a spoon that might be bigger for a student's food. I know one of our students has a, um, a little bit of trouble with drinking out of the milk curtain, so we always have a straw for him. Um, just anything that kind of aids with personal care and just the existence of that student. So, you know, just making sure they are stable and able to live their day-to-day -day life in a quality way. Those are all specific things that we want to worry about with existence. Um, next, I think positioning is really important. I know that a lot of students who have disabilities have positioning, you know, troubles and issues. And one of the main things that we want to worry about is how to correct that so they don't have future issues later on or even worsening issues as they um, develop. So I think wheelchairs, um, I like what they said about the tilted tables. I know one of our students has a tilted table, so whenever they look at their iPad, they're not leaning over and, you know, destroying their back. They can kind of have it straight up in front of them so they can sit up. Um, so I think that's really important as well. I think mobility is huge because we, like we said, we're trying to increase the independence in these students. So finding ways to make them independent in their mobility is, I think, a huge um benefit for the students. So wheelchairs, canes, um, walkers, anything like that, that can kind of aid, you know, like just having rails on the stairways even is a way to kind of aid in mobility. So I think those are three really big things. I think they're all really important. Um, but those were the three that kind of stood out to me the most because that's kind of, those are three of the more um, main things that I deal with on my day to day. Um, work. So one additional assistive technology that uh, I didn't see anywhere in the module is something also that a student of ours uses. That's how I uh, found it and how it worked because that's just something that has been in my everyday life that has been very helpful to the student. Um, it's a positioning assistive technology. I think it's probably mid-tech um, in the art or I don't know if it's the article. No, in the lecture it talks about how there's low tech, mid tech, and high tech assistive technology. So low tech would be things like pencil grips and things that don't really necessarily associate with technology. And then there's a mid technology that has a little bit more to do with technology and then high technology such as iPads, computers, so forth and forth. And mid tech would be like a calculator, um, you know, something like that. So I think that what I will what I will be discussing maybe low tech to mid tech it isn't necessarily tech uh, technology but it has to do with the technology so um, the one thing that is very useful that I think has made a huge difference in our student is a iPad mount so it has to do with the positioning again like we talked about um, so all of our students have iPads and we had noticed a significant issue in the student leaning way forward into the iPad and uh, leaning she or leaning her leaning the chair forward and kind of just destroying the back so I think that an iPad mount would be really beneficial for a lot of different students who have these same type of issues uh, making sure that their iPad can be screwed onto the table 
and kind of adjusted to the way that is most comfortable comfortable for them to sit but also not making their back um, crunch or you know be in one of those uncomfortable positions that can cause issues in the long run um, so yeah I found that just because we work with that every day and it was something I didn't really necessarily see throughout the articles and the lectures and everything so I think all of the things that have been mentioned are super beneficial. I think assistive technology will continue to grow within our educational settings. I think that to have inclusion be, you know, a part of our everyday life, that it's almost needed that we have things like this for our students because they're, without them, the students would not be able to learn in a quality way. You know, um, so I think that just having even just the simplest assistive technologies to the most advanced, all the ranges I think are needed in our education. And I think the articles and the um, just everything that was listed in the module really helped to explain the benefits and why is its technologies are increasing so much in the educational environment. All right, thank you.